sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Um, you know, couldn't put the game down, but I'm getting to a point to where I'm almost finished with the game. So I felt like that now it's about time for me to, uh, you know, get back into recording some videos. You know, it's it's kind of a bit of a weakness of mine if I'm going to try to, you know, now with video games, if I'm going to play it, I'm going to try to, you know, at least finish it out. So I wanted to do it within this. And it was kind of an addicting game. It's one of those games where when you get into the storyline or my own opinion, when you get into the storyline, you just want to just, you know, just keep, you know, playing it until, you know, to fruition to see how it, you know, to see where it goes. Because it's, uh, you know, it's a very interesting game. Um, but anyways, here we are recording this episode. And as you can tell, this is also a channel update. So a couple little things to kind of let you know what's going on is, uh, for one, the Enterprise J series is definitely still going on. Um, getting closer towards the end of that. However, though, it's probably going to be a while before I have um, any updates on that. I do have one more video that's going to be coming out, and I'll have that coming out this week by before Saturday. Uh, but after that, it's going to probably be a while before we see any additional episodes. And I will go into more details during the actual, you know, episode when I release it, you know, for the reason being for that. But most of it just has to do with, you know, with the textures. You know, because I've mentioned that I was going to try to make it to where the Enterprise J, this iteration of the model, is going to be more of a low poly model, but the texture is going to be kind of high res. Did I miss something here? I guess I did. I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, the textures is going to be a bit high res. So, um, so I've been working on those textures and the textures are absolutely huge or end up being huge, probably a lot bigger than what I really need, but I'm trying to get as much detail, you know, filled in on these textures as, as possible and that's uh, my Photoshop skills are I mean they're okay I mean I'm an artist and I'm very good at doing stuff on Photoshop it's just I'm just not too inept with it so if I'm you know you know I'm toying around with it I don't know like you know such as if I want to try to stretch something along a radius I don't know what's the best tool to really kind of do that somebody that's probably a lot more uh, detail oriented or a lot more in depth into what Photoshop is could probably know right off the hand. Oh, well you use this, you know, short key, shortcut key or something like that. And then, you know, select this and do that. And voila, there you go. Me, I'm not quite, you know, up to par on all of that. So I got to model this over to there. So, um, so I'm trying Direction. to do that, you know, people are wanting to go. The Blender files have been getting decent views, um, you know, some more than others and everything. Um, you know, so I'm just going to keep playing it by ear regarding the Blender files. But the Minecraft uh, ships videos are not getting a, a lot of views, not as much views as I probably thought they would have. So... I may end up probably just abandoning that. I haven't made my decision yet. I'll probably release a couple of more videos, but eventually I'll probably just go ahead and just abandon that for something else. Um, so, but, you know, but I've been thinking about that. So not a whole lot of views on it. And I've been switching over from the Bird of Prey to the Millennium Falcon because I've actually had people, you know, you know, message me saying, you know, it's like, well, we want to see something else other than Star Trek. So, so I'm doing that. And with that also being note is that I'm also thinking about doing a, actually, no, not thinking I'm actually going to be doing it. I'm going to be doing another series. Um, but this one is going to be, um, it's going to be kind of a filler until I get, you know, the textures done with the Enterprise J, but 
it's actually going to be a lot more in depth because rather than making a whole model, I'm going to be doing a complete scene. And it's going to be actually Star Wars oriented in Blender. So it's not just one model, it's a complete scene. It's going to have sky domes, it's going to have multiple models in it, and the multiple models are going to be linked between different files and things like that. And so we go through textures and lighting and setting up camera work and all that type of stuff in Blender. So it's going to be a lot more in depth so be expecting that and also i'm going to be starting some review episodes to where i'm going to be taking a look at some of the other uh 3d modeling programs just to kind of you know you know give my take on how they operate how they render and stuff because mostly mostly it was just for me i've been wanting to do it for a while and a lot of these 3d programs even high cost ones they have you know 30 day trials so i'm going to take go ahead and take advantage of some of these 30 day trials, try some of these programs out. And if I'm doing that, I might as well go ahead and share that with y'all. Try making a couple of models in it and so on and so forth. So, um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at doing. But uh, let's not go ahead and hang on that too much. Let's go ahead and cut into the model that we're going to be looking at today. So give me one minute and I will be right back. All right, and everybody, I present to you the Dedelius class, and I pardon me if I am butchering the name. So this is definitely, I'm going to kind of warn you all, a bit low poly, but this particular model is, um, this is the, okay, this is an excuse for why I'm probably going to point out, and you all are going to notice a lot of bad mistakes with this model but this is actually my first star trek starship model that i've done in blender not the first one that i've done my first star trek models that i've done was actually for star trek armada and star trek armada 2 but i was using a program called milkshape uh, i think that's what it's called milkshape to do those in but they were very low poly because they were in video games and everything but i was making models for those uh, in fact, I've actually have noticed that some of my models have made it into a couple of um, into a couple of expansion packs and mod packs and things uh, involving Tholian races or Tholian ships and stuff. Because I made a bunch of Tholian different vessels and things like that. Um, so yeah so but this but in blender this was the very first one after i downloaded blender and started actually really getting used to it i started making this the dailyest class ship because one it was an easiest it was a pretty easy ship to make and two because of it being easy it was going to be low poly um let's do just a little quick little review i mean it's loosely based off of the or actually, no, not loosely based. I try to base this as much as I can off of the uh, source material. Now, I don't think I have any of those loaded in. I'm looking at it right now. No, I don't. Any of the reference Im images I don't have loaded in. But I try to base this directly off of reference Im images offline or online uh, from side in view from the and from the Star Trek encyclopedia. I have the Star Trek encyclopedia and I got that, you know, because if you all know anything about the Daedalus class ship is that they were mentioned on screen, but they were never seen on screen. But then the, you know, there were models that were seen in the backgrounds, you know, which had similar registries or similar names tied on to it as you know the Daedalus or the Horizon or what have you um, and then there was on the Star Trek Encyclopedia it actually has this type of model ship oops yeah this type of oops you know <laughs> you know what I mean this type of model ship designated as that particular type of vessel um, so yeah, there's quite a few things that I've made mistakes on. For one, if you look at right here, these little rings right here, they, they're not as high poly as they should be. Uh, looking into it, it's, I mean, it was, it's pretty laughable. I don't know why I would try to keeping it low poly. Part of it might have been because of the, uh, you know, my computer didn't have a lot of pushing power at the time. So I was kind of worried about if I, you know, did higher poly models, um, 
All right, Ed, everybody, I present to you the Dedelius class, and I pardon me if I am butchering the name. So this is definitely, I'm going to kind of warn you all, a bit low poly, but this particular model is, um, this is the, okay, this is an excuse for why I'm probably going to point out, and you all are going to notice a lot of bad mistakes with this model but this is actually my first star trek starship model that i've done in blender not the first one that i've done my first star trek models that i've done was actually for star trek armada and star trek armada 2 but i was using a program called milkshape uh, i think that's what it's called milkshape to do those in but they were very low poly because they were in video games and everything but i was making models for those uh, in fact, I've actually have noticed that some of my models have made it into a couple of um, into a couple of expansion packs and mod packs and things uh, involving Tholian races or Tholian ships and stuff. Because I made a bunch of Tholian different vessels and things like that. Um, so yeah so but this but in blender this was the very first one after i downloaded blender and started actually really getting used to it i started making this the dailyest class ship because one it was an easiest it was a pretty easy ship to make and two because of it being easy it was going to be low poly um let's do just a little quick little review i mean it's loosely based off of the or actually, no, not loosely based. I try to base this as much as I can off of the uh, source material. Now, I don't think I have any of those loaded in. I'm looking at it right now. No, I don't. Any of the reference Im images I don't have loaded in. But I try to base this directly off of reference Im images offline or online uh, from side in view from the and from the Star Trek encyclopedia. I have the Star Trek encyclopedia and I got that, you know, because if you all know anything about the Daedalus class ship is that they were mentioned on screen, but they were never seen on screen. But then the, you know, there were models that were seen in the backgrounds, you know, which had similar registries or similar names tied on to it as you know the Daedalus or the Horizon or what have you um, and then there was on the Star Trek Encyclopedia it actually has this type of model ship oops yeah this type of oops you know well you know what I mean this type of model ship designated as that particular type of vessel um, so yeah, there's quite a few things that I've made mistakes on. For one, if you look at right here, these little rings right here, they, they're not as high poly as they should be. Uh, looking into it, it's, I mean, it was, it's pretty laughable. I don't know why I would try to keeping it low poly. Part of it might have been because of the, uh, you know, my computer didn't have a lot of pushing power at the time. So I was kind of worried about if I, you know, did higher poly models, um, you know, my computer wouldn't handle it, so I tried to keep them as low poly as possible. Um, the other reason of about why I was keeping it low poly is because this particular ship, you know, as you can see, there's reasons about why I have these little plates and stuff that would come off like right there and everything was, is that I was going to actually have it to where this ship, I was going to model everything in this ship and you know who knows if this gets you know if i get good you know positive feedback on it i may still do that but i mean i was not only everything on the outside but everything on the interior as well every single deck would be modeled every single chair every single console every single room everything was going to be modeled in here and all of these we're already separated on the hall, so you can, you know, take a look inside. You can remove this right here, and you can take a look at the hangar deck, and remove this here, and also take a look at the hangar deck, and the engineering section, and, you know, remove this, and you can look at some of the quarters and stuff. Um, you know, here, I'm trying to remember what I was going to put in there. I think that was, like, weapons and stuff. You can look at phasers, sensor arrays, and things like that so there were a lot of these little nooks and crannies that you can pick up and remove 
Oh yeah, like right back there, you can pick that up, remove it, take a look inside to see, oh, excuse me, the deck patterns and things like that. Um, I also have to apologize if I'm talking a little bit, uh, a little bit weird. I recently bit my tongue pretty hard. I mean, it was almost punctured through it to the point where I could have just went ahead and turned it into a piercing if I wanted to. So, uh, tongue's a little swollen, so I apologize, but... Uh, but that's what I was intending to do with this ship. So I ke was keeping the exterior low poly to just to try to save some processing power so when I, I start doing the interiors. My computer that I have right now is far better than what any computer I had in the past. So I could definitely up the poly count on the exterior model of this ship and really kind of go in and still go in and model the entire interiors. Now, the interior of the ship is, why is that? Oh, there it goes. The interior of the ship is completely conjectural. It's speculative exactly of how the deck, re deck arrangements are going. Um, the way I kind of look at it is, you know, like here in the neck, there is two accessible decks one two and then there's one uh deck which is for like engineering purposes has like here you know where these windows are at there'd be deck one deck two you know deck one right there deck two right about here and then engineering access jeffrey's tubes deck under deck three and so on and so forth for all the uh you know for the warp conduits to be running into and so on and so forth you know, you had the bridge area, which is right here. So this right here was actually the, wouldn't be the bridge. This would be kind of a, the well, the, the bridge would be center and it would be like sitting on this deck right here. So removing that, you can see actually a part of the bridge. And then you have, you know, deck one, deck two, uh, you know, deck one here. So deck one bridge. Deck two, deck three, deck four, deck five, deck six, right about here, deck seven, deck eight, deck nine, deck ten, so everybody like 10, 11, 12 decks within the side of the sphere. Um, you know, was, I would have it all, so I kind of had it all, you know, kind of gently, you know, loosely jotted down. You know, most of engineering was going to, this, most of this was going to be engineering and, um, and, uh, you know, uh, docking, uh, uh, shuttle, shuttle bay, shuttle bay, that's the word I'm looking for, will be shuttle bay and engineering, there wouldn't be much in the room for like, you know, you know, uh, hydronic, hydroponics bay or anything like that, but, you know, I, I kind of stopped doing it because it was uh, about this time that I kind of learned about the Enterprise J, and I was looking at the pictures and I was thinking, you know what? That's something that I really need to, for some reason, are curious about trying to do. And I was doing it in artwork first. And I said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and model this thing. I think I'm getting good in Blender. And as you can see, eh, no, I wasn't. I still had a lot to do. As you see, there's some seams here. I mean, there was, I kind of abandoned this, you know, like many of my ships, many of the stuff that you see here on Blender Files. Uh, you know, for other things. And one of these days I might come back and once again, probably finish it. Uh, part of that is kind of on, on all of y'all. I mean, depending on, you know, views, likes, and, you know, if y'all actually, you know, point out in the comments, hey, do that one right there. Then I might come back and probably either, you know, just do it off camera and then come back and show y'all what it looks like completely, you know, completed on camera or do an entire little, you know, mini series, you might probably say on, on the YouTube page on trying to finish the old ships and everything. So, but yeah, this was, besides for the update, there's just going to be just a real quick episode. And I wanted to kind of show y'all the, you know, said this entire series was, uh, or this entire channel right now seems to be mostly focused on you know, building Star Trek ships in Blender. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you the actual first Star Trek ship that I built in Blender. And looking at it, you could definitely, you know, compare and contrast, you know, what I'm doing now compared to how I used to do it back in the past and see how much I've improved and, 
you know, you can actually see some of my mistakes and see some of my errors and, you know, also probably kind of give y'all a little bit more hope to where if y'all feel like that y'all are not quite that good with Blender, well, you know, you know, neither was I, and I still debate whether if I'm really all that good, but, you know, some of y'all seem to really like some of the stuff that I'm doing, so, so, you know, you know, y'all are entitled to y'all's opinion, and I thank y'all for that support. But in the meantime, so I just want to go ahead and say thank y'all for watching. And once again, the next episode that you're going to be seeing, I'm going to try to get it up here before Saturday or on Saturday, is going to be another episode of the Enterprise J. And after that, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing. I mean, I have a lot of stuff. It's either I'm going to start the new series where I'm going to be building the entire an entire scene from start to finish on on uh, in Blender, which said you know you're going to see a lot of interesting stuff on this one. If you're wanting to learn kind of the in and outs in Blender, that's actually the series that you really want. To, ooh, I kind of like that angle right there. That's actually a pretty good angle for this ship. That makes it look real good. Let me see if I can bring that into rendering. Yeah, I like that one. Oops, sorry, I'm just getting a little bit distracted. Um, but, you know, that would probably be really the kind of uh, episode that you might want to probably watch because we're going to get real in-depth and real in-touch into, you know, the in and outs of Blender and, you know, the differences between appending a model or linking a model, um, you know, looking at some pretty complicated rigging, you know, uh, we're going to see... You know, posing, rigging, skinning, texturing, uh, just about almost every single aspect of Blender. Building the scene, working on render, you know, cycles, light particles, you know, um, anything you could probably think of we're going to be utilizing inside that series. So, you know, feel free to stay tuned and watch. It's either going to be that or it's probably going to be another Blender files or it might probably be, I don't know, what's the next one in my uh, queue? I think it's going to be another, no, not the Akira class. It would be another uh, Minecraft series. So stay tuned. I don't know which one I'm going to do, but I'm sure it'll be pretty interesting either way so until then i just want to say thank you for watching this is the De the daedalus class ship in blender and i'm bbelt dan and thank you for watching